Hello guys and welcome to Lowestoft. Um, yeah, we've come down to, my wife wanted to come down and go in the camper van for the weekend. So I thought Lowestoft would be a good spot for the amount of camping sites, etc., that are around. Um, but while we were here, I thought I'd get out, as I always seem to do, um, with the camera. Um, and I've come to these, come to these groins on the beach. Um, and I'm fascinated by these two buildings that are at the sort of midway in the water, just uh, just sort of slightly below the horizon line. Um, apparently, they're for a type of seagull and some sort of sanctuary to stop the larger seagulls from attacking them. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to try and photograph it with the groins as a leading line out to the water. I mean, they're slightly to the right. There's not a lot I can do about that. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to use the 200mm lens and see if I can zoom in on them both and then do them as individual photographs as well. Um, I'm going to try and do it from all points of the groin groins. So I'm sort of in the middle on the right hand side, on the left hand side, etc. And we'll see which ones are the best shots from those. Um, so let me set myself up. I've got the camera up. I haven't looked at the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the positioning of the camera or anything like that yet. But yeah, let me have a look and I'll come back to you in a minute. Thank you. Okay, so ISO 64, F10, 15th of a second. Um, I'm gonna shoot all the way down the groin and also focus on those two amazing sanctuary type things that are way down there. Uh, you probably think nothing about them when you see it, but yeah, I find it amazing that somebody would think about protecting some birds with these things way out there. Amazing, brilliant. Okay, the weather's not too good. Um, it's been amazing all week. We've had fantastic sunshine all week. And I was hoping to catch the sunset, if I'm honest, but the sunset's behind me, so um, I'm in the wrong spot. This would be a place for sunrise. Um, and I had considered coming out doing a sunrise shoot but the forecast for tomorrow is rain. So um, yeah, there's not really much point of getting up at four o'clock in the morning or up past three in the morning to photograph what is gonna be, you know, awful weather conditions. So yeah, I'm just gonna capture what I can here. So yeah, um, I'll capture that. I'm doing it from the right hand side of the groin. I'm gonna shoot all the way down the groin and I'm gonna um, focus in on those huts as well and I'll share that photograph with you now. So the first shot, I think I had the tripod too high and I wanna get down with the groin. Um, same settings, exactly the same settings, a lot lower down. I might even try and go lower down again and take the same shot. Um, yeah, I, I don't think the camera's actually focusing in on the huts, so, or the, the sanctuaries. So I'm having to do that on top of the other photographs that I'm doing, if you see what I mean, so yeah. Okay, I'll share that one. Okay, so F11, ISO 250, 30 second exposure. Um, I'm going to focus shift shooting. I'm gonna shoot it all the way down. And I think I'm gonna have to focus on those sanctuaries separately again. Um, yeah, um, I wanna slow the water down. I don't know if I can freeze it totally. I will have a look. I've got the photograph being taken now. If I can't, I'll make the exposure longer so I can take a 60 or a 90 second exposure. Um, yeah. I want the water to be frozen. After this one, I'm gonna move so I'm in the middle of the groins and see if I can capture that then. Um, yeah, I love this. There's a pier over there as well. I might try and photograph the pier as well. Um, it's a bit far to walk, to be honest, but We'll see. Okay, let me do this. I'll share the photograph with you. Let me know what you think. Fantastic spot. It's a real shame that the, the clouds are not playing game. Okay, I'll share that photograph now. So as I feared, the focus shift shooting is shooting all the way down the, the groins, but it isn't, for some reason, taking the last shot of the sanctuaries. So. I'm having to do that manually. I'm, I'm taking one now of just the sanctuaries 
um, and I'm doing that for 60 seconds. Um, the 30 second ones, the water's really smooth, but I think I'd like to see if I can capture some sort of shine. I don't know if I'm gonna get that because like I said, the weather's rubbish. But, here we go, but the air, yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I don't know how good the focus is on, oh, it's perfect. On those two sanctuaries, yeah, it looks really good. So hopefully, hopefully that'll look nice. I'll share that now. I'm gonna move now in the middle of the groins and I'm gonna try and shoot again. Um, yeah, from there, just from a different perspective. Yeah, really, really nice. They caught my eye straight away as soon as I got out of the van. Um, yeah, fantastic. Right, let me move. I'll share that now. Let me know what you think, please. Lovely. So um, I've moved the camera. Um, I don't think the sanctuaries are in the photograph on this one because the camera is actually too low. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let this one finish. 60, 60 second exposure, F11, ISO 250, I think it was. 60 second exposure. And then I'm gonna raise the camera and try and get those two sanctuaries in the shot as well. I have to be a bit careful now because this tide is now coming in, um, which might actually be beneficial. The 30 second exposures on the last ones, the, the water was really, really, um, really flat, but not shiny. The 60 second exposure, however, did catch a little bit of shine. Um, I'm not sure how much, um, but there is a little bit of a sheen going across the, the photograph, which might make it, you know, a bit more of an attractive photograph. I'm absolutely gutted that this weather is this bad now. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully the photograph's all right and I'll share that now. Okay, F11. ISO 250. 60 second exposure. One photograph. Um, I say one photograph, I've only done one at the minute and that's just focusing here on the groins. Uh, but I want to photograph at the end of the groin and then I want to photograph the sanctuaries as well. So there'll be three photographs in this composition. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if it's gonna work. I've got it so that the sanctuaries just peek above the top of the groins in the photograph. Um, yeah. yeah, it looks all right. Um, I'm gonna take the other two um, and I'll share that one with you now. Hopefully you like it. Please let me know what you think. Um, I might go on this side of the groins now, but the tide is much further in on this side. Um, so I'm gonna try and get over on this side and then go from the left side sort of through the groins and see if I can get the sanctuaries that way. But um, yeah, it depends if the water's gonna play because uh, as you can see, it's there and I don't wanna get wet. All right, I should have worn my wellies maybe. All right. Let me know what you think, thank you. Okay, so it's all right me saying I'm gonna go over to the other side, but I sometimes don't think before I do. Um, that was really difficult for me, for me. Um, yeah, I've got it and, and I'm doing photo shift again. 90 seconds, so this could take a long time. Um, I've got it so that the two sanctuaries are on the right of um, the groins um, and obviously this thing's going to shoot all the way through from here all the way back through but I doubt it's going to capture the sanctuaries again so I'll have to take a separate photograph I'm hoping hoping that the red marker at the end of the groins is not in the way the Z series when you're when you're using a dark taking a dark photograph it's quite dark now the, the, the vision that you see in the viewfinder is actually quite grainy until it focuses. And then once it's focused, it sort of goes grainy again. I don't know why it does that. Um, but yeah, it's like a bit of a disadvantage. The way to do it, I suppose, was sh I should have taken it all off, take it to normal settings, set it all up, put the, anyway, I didn't do that because I'm lazy and I wanna catch the last of this light before it gets too dark. I know on that camera, it looks really bright, but it actually isn't. It's not dark yet, but it certainly isn't bright. So anyway, yeah, so I look at it, the, the red marker is slightly to the left 
of the left of the two sanctuaries. So hopefully, hopefully it's a good photograph. Um, I'll check on the back if it isn't, obviously I'll do it again. Um, but I will share that one with you now. And I'm gonna look for another composition. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that, Pierre. It looks a bit too far for me to walk, although, although knowing me, if the light holds out, I might. Um, the good thing is, with the sunset now behind me, um, we're now starting to get some colour in the sky, and I'm hoping that moves over to this side, so we get some colour at least in the sky. Yeah, and this photograph is still going, and that tide is really coming in, so, okay. I'll share that now, and I'll move. Okay, so, I wasn't quite happy with the proximity of the sanctuary to that red post. It was a little bit too close, although there is separation between the two. It ain't a lot, so I've moved more and more to the right. Um, I've got a lot of separation between the two, um, but now the tripod is, <laughs> is submerged in water and this tide is shifting. So yeah, I've changed the settings. I've dropped the um, stop to a six stop, I think it is. Um, I'm at ISO 64, F14, F16, and each shot is 30 seconds. Um, hopefully that's enough. I'm gonna do another one of the sanctuary just to make sure that they're in focus. And I'll share that one with you now. This water is getting really close. All right, um, I'm gonna move to the other side. I want to take photographs of just the sanctuaries before it gets too dark. I'm not gonna have time to do that, Pierre, um, but I, I, I wanna get those sanctuaries done. So yeah, okay, I'll share that. I don't know if you can see how dark it is, but it's getting pretty dark. Um, and I think this is the last shot. Um, F11, ISO 64, 60 second exposure with the three, the three stop ND filter fitted. Um, I wanna get the, it's just finished, it's just finished. I, I wanna get the water really, really smooth. I'm, I'm only focused in on the left hand of the sanctuaries. It might be a little bit too bright actually. Yeah, it's a little bit too bright. So I'll, I'll take one again and I'll do it. Let me just do it now. Um, I'll do it for 30 seconds. Yeah, so same settings, 30 seconds. Um, we'll just see which is the better of the two. Maybe I can combine the two. The, the sanctuary itself looked really good. The, the, what didn't look too good was the, the water. It looked too, too bright, far, far too bright for a sky that's really dark now. Um, but um, yeah, um, I might try and get one with both the sanctuaries in and then call it a day, but I'll share that one with you now. Um, I'll come back to you in a second. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, I'll share that now. Let me know what you think. So I'm done. Um, F14, ISO 64, 90 second exposure, just the groins focused on the red marker on the top. That is the last photograph. Beautiful. I, I, I had to get, had to, wanted to get separation from the red mark and the horizon. And I've had to put the camera really, really low to achieve that. Yeah, but you know, with a 90 second exposure and this light, hopefully it'll be a really nice photograph. But that is the last photograph. Um, I'm gonna go get my head down. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the photographs. Yeah, see you next week. Thank you. Remember guys, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.